Hey everybody, John with Faith in Fishing here. So what we're doing today is we're doing an unboxing of a giveaway that I had won. This giveaway was done by Juna TV. Justin, thank you so much for the box. As we all know uh, that we're in the giveaway, he doesn't know what's in here. I don't know what's in here. And I mentioned in the giveaway that I would do a unboxing. So we're all gonna find out what's here together. A quick shout out to Southern Salt Kayak Fishing sent this hat, uh, won some lures from him as well, and very much looking forward to throwing that Bugs lure. Uh, really excited about that. So props to him, you'll hear more about him later. Uh, check out his channel, definitely underrated saltwater fishing channel. Check it out, it's definitely worth your while. So we're gonna open up this box, and open up my toadfish filet knife. Um, I take it with me on every trip, it just works wonders. I'm loving this knife, toadfish, collapsible seven inch knife. Um, I play my sheep's head with it all the time, redfish, you name it. It's uh, super sharp, it gets the job done. Here we go. Again, this is a freshwater box from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Shop Carl's, he's got subscriptions to that. Um, I fish mainly saltwater, so this is all maybe some unfamiliar stuff to me, but we'll find out and look at them together what we got. First thing up, a 10,000 fish saw crawl. It's a max action. It's got an infused scent on it and salt. Definitely seen, seen a lot of bass fishermen use these. Drop shots, things of that nature. Uh, definitely crawls are a good bait in creeks and rivers, no, no problem. We've got a uh, 10,000 fish cycle bait. Chatterbait style, looks like top water. So this works for redfish as well when, when things are choppy. Uh, so you can definitely use this in salt water, no problem. Redfish will hit it when you got a bit of a chop uh, on the top. It makes a lot of noise, will attract them. All right, we got the Exoswim 4 inch. Uh, again, put this on a jig head and it's a paddle tail, makes a lot of vibration in the water. It puts out the vibration, like I said, these swim baits, um, very good. Guarantee this will this will get some strikes in salt water, no problem. What do we got here? We got a Biospun Rattlebot bait fish. It's a lipless crankbait. It's got a loud, loud rattle in it. So this uh, Rubigo rattle bait, um, rattle bot rather, it says that you can slowly retrieve this, straight retrieve it uh, near the bottom, rip it through grass um, and get that strike. So never fished any of this, but not sure how this would respond or react in salt water. Um, but it's always worth a shot. There's some fish out there that I hit anything to throw at them. So. All right, so the theme in here is definitely 10,000 fish. Uh, we got a Yoto worm. Not familiar with a Yoto worm. You can do, it looks like it says you can do this with a, a bladed jig or a spinner bait. You can do it with a Texas rig, um, a shaky head or a drop shot. So you can, you can rig this a uh, hundred ways to next Sunday. And um, again, never fished it, but looks like it'd be a good bait, mimic any type of shad, things of that nature. Definitely a lot of stuff in this box. Um, man, bass fishermen would have killed for this. Sakoshi bug, 10,000 fish at Sakoshi bug. Uh, it's made with that durable Stretch X plastic. That's a two and a half inch bait. Uh, Sakoshi bug, uh, looks like it's designed specifically to fish on a Ned rig. So you're gonna fish this with a Ned rig um, definitely a bass style bait. Uh, I've seen redfish hit similar baits on a Ned rig. Um, so pretty confident this would work. Fish in the Ned rig on the bottom for redfish. All right, we got a 3.75 inch slow sinking. It's a baby bullgill. So Triton Mike Buka. Baby bluegill. Now I, I know bass. They they kill, they kill bluegill. Um, they kill bait fish this size. I mean, ten times that size. You watch Milliken fish and you see some of the stuff that he throws. It's it's pretty ridiculous what these what these bass will hit. So yeah, we got this multi-segmented bluegill. Four parts to it. Probably get some side to side action, darting action from it that'll attract that bite from 
from a nice, uh, nice big bass. So it looks like a good swim bait. All right, we've got this Guggen Squad clickbait. It's got that uh, vibrating jig on it. Again, being saltwater fisherman, I've never fished the Guggen Squad um, baits, but I'm assuming just like any any other bait that has a blade on, it's going to make a lot of noise, push a lot of water, and those colors are definitely going to attract uh, some fish. So I, I don't doubt that this has real good action on it and, and real good attraction quality. All right, guys. So last but not least, we got a tightrope baby fireworks super jig. So it looks like just a little little ball jig with some uh, feathery action on it, a little skirt action on it. You could probably add uh, a small paddle tail on, on the back of this, add to it. So they say to fish it with uh, 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon um, and just hold on. So they definitely, uh, <laughs> they spout that it's gonna fish and, and catch good fish, but uh, every lure will do that for you. So really just gotta get it out on the water and check. Just again, thank you to, to Justin from Juno TV. Go ahead and, and check his channel out. It's going to be linked in the description below. And uh, can link all of these items as well if I if I find them all for you guys. So, so guys, we got a ton of baits in this box. I uh, don't know the overall value of this stuff yet because it doesn't have that little card that you usually get with uh, a mystery tackle box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up these items. I'm going to try to price them out for you and give you an overall idea of, of what this giveaway um, win actually prices out at. Uh, I'm curious to know. I'm sure you guys are curious to know. And uh, in the future, I may even put together uh, some of these or some other ones if I don't um, if I don't have a use for them. Uh, I might put them up in a giveaway as well. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that too. Anyways, as always guys, thanks for watching. Tight lines and be blessed.